I'm Anjali Varma, and you're watching The Modern Mompreneur, and I am so very excited to be joined by Angie Hicks, the founder of Angie's List. How Hi. are you, Angie? Hi, I'm just great. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure. So your story is so great because you started by literally knocking on doors in yeah. Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, that's the character building exercise. Let me just put it at that. It's like, you know, sales in the mid-90s door to door were not a fruitful experience. But I mean, it is pretty amazing to think that you literally started that way and you've built your company to what it is today. Yeah. Uh, what are your, you know, what was the secret to that success or, you know, what is your advice to moms who have this idea and actually you know, building it into yeah. a reality. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of it comes down to having a good idea, you know, but it doesn't have to be the greatest. I mean, I, I wasn't a big idea person, you know, I mean, we actually copied a business. So it wasn't as if we kind of had this fantastic original idea. Uh, you know, we were really about executing on an idea we saw. And so, you know, I think perseverance in the early days is really important. And then also just understanding what your your business model is going to be and staying true to that. I think a lot of times when people are trying to start something, they can oftentimes get very distracted by all the different possible directions they can go in. And because of that, uh, you know, they can just really struggle because they don't have uh, a precise focus. And so did your, your original model has kind of stayed true throughout this entire... It has. I mean, you know, while we, you know, sit today as a tech business online, you know, it's still the same principle. So we started as a call-in service in a magazine, and today everything is pretty much online. But what we do is the same. We help consumers find great great local service companies. What about monetization? Because I think a lot of times entrepreneurs, they may have an idea, but they're not sure how to monetize that idea. So was that a question for you in the beginning? Like, did you know there was a demand and people were yeah. willing to pay and, for that? And I think part of it is, you know, we started in the days, you know, we were pre-internet days. It was 1995. So our role models were newspapers and magazines. And so we were actually putting together a magazine for, so for a consumer to subscribe to a magazine was very commonplace at those points. I mean, right. you know, entrepreneurs today who have to struggle with, you know, being online, like, should I just grow audience? Should I figure out how I'm going to monetize it? Should I monetize it later? Is that a risk? I yes. mean, that is a big, you know, that is a, a lot tougher question. But I think even at the beginning, you should have your idea of how it's going to be monetized, even from the beginning. Okay. And if you had to maybe highlight a couple of secrets of your success or two or three tips that you would have for mom entrepreneurs, what would those be? Well, I'm, you know, I think that becoming a mom was probably, you know, kind of one of my best things that happened to me as far as from a business perspective. I think it really, you know, changed and made me a better leader and manager. And it also helped me remember how to prioritize. I think sometimes we can toil away at a task that in the end, wasn't very fruitful, but you know when you're a mom and you know you want to be every home for dinner and every minute is precious. Yeah, exactly, every minute is precious. You know you're going to make a lot smarter choices about what you focus on and how you spend your time because you know I think a lot of people think that you know hey there's there's you know perfect life balance you know work life balance. I don't think there is work life balance. You know it really comes down to it. It's like it's about prioritizing what's important to you. I mean I tell people all the time, you know, I don't cook but I have dinner with my kids every night. And that's the important part of it, is that we actually eat together. It's not that I made them a lovely meal. Right. <laughs> Any other tips for balancing those those worlds of uh, motherhood? Well, and I think, you know, when it comes down to being a mom, I mean, you're going to be your biggest critic. Uh, you're going to be the one that agonizes over those decisions. And I think you just have to set priorities for what you're going to want to do. And if it's important for you to be at your kid's soccer game on Tuesday evenings, you need to make that happen. And, you know, be very forthcoming. And that might be that you're trading off and looking for a flexible schedule. You're like, hey, I want to leave at 4 o'clock on Tuesdays, but I'm going to work, you know, a couple of hours one evening after the kids go to bed. So it's just being very forthcoming about how you're going to be able to get your schedule done. And I'm assuming it becomes more and more challenging, though, the larger your company gets. It does, it does, but you know, but in many ways, kind of setting that foundation for how you're going to balance. I mean, it, it's important because otherwise, it can cause a lot of stress in your life. Yes. And what about your mompreneur mantra, or the one piece of advice you would give to mo all mom entrepreneurs out there? 
your kids are all young once, so make sure you value that time with them and, you know, make sure that you're prioritizing appropriately so that you can you can take advantage of that. There's there's plenty of years for careers, but, you know, being a mom entrepreneur can be a really neat thing. Thank you to Angie Hicks of Angie's List, and thank you for watching. If you want more tips on parenting lifestyle and entrepreneurism, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my blog at themodernmompreneur.com.